Citizens of that town, by mayoral decree, the following episode may cover topics the likes of which may trigger your timbers. Consider yourselves duly notified. Today, I'm off and away from work. Zal on the crusher helped me. I have to put another fire in the radio station again. Mm, fucking what now? Hello? What? Oh, hey, Jay. I'm at the station. Oh, praise York the unbelievable you made it in today, Michael. How bad off is the transmitter? Uh, that depends. How much magic can I use on this thing? Mike, I thought you had a technical school degree. Oh, no, no, that's a common mistake. I technically have a school degree. And that means... what, exactly? Well, my degree is in theoretical magical engineering. Does that mean you're a techno-mage? Eh, uh, sure, we'll go with that. I... hmm. Okay, quiz me this. Has using magic before on the transmitter had any negative effects? If I say yes, are you going to be mad? Is magic the reason that the static and range of our broadcasts are so shoddy? What? No, don't be ridiculous. That's the meth-addled vampires that steal our copper every couple of weeks. I thought we had security measures in place to stop thieves. Heat seeking whatnots. Were you trying to say thermal cameras? Because that's what we have. Thermal cameras. Yeah, those things. Yeah, hard for thermal cameras to activate when there is no body heat coming off of the body. Ah, uh, yeah. Vampires do that, don't they? They do. Pretty well established in books and movies. Alright, another question. Would using magic fuck up the warranty on the transmitter? Jay, you realize the transmitter we currently own, and I'm using very liberal air quotes here, is actually stolen, correct? Wait, really? Mm-hmm. When we asked for that grant from Mayor Jason a few years back, he got Josh and other Josh to go heist one from somewhere. I feel like that's going to bite us in the ass. They filed off the serial number and crap. We'll be fine. Okay, Mike. See what magic can do to save the day. All right, one second. I need to put the phone down. Ow! That was loud. <laughs> Shit, Mike, you okay? That didn't quite go like I expected it to. What happened? The transmitter exploded. What did you expect to happen? I expected to fix the transmitter. I, hmm, fair. Want me to revert it? I, uh, do what now? Do you want me to revert the magic? Is, is that a thing, or are you just fucking with me? Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Sorry, I forgot I was talking to a normie. That feels rude. Anytime you cast magic, you can revert it. Seriously? Why didn't you just revert the transmitter in the first place? Is it really that hard to understand? I can revert the transmitter back to normal before I cast magic on it. I can't fix shoddy workmanship in time by talking to a deity. Apparently, that causes it to explode. Oh. Yeah, revert that before the building falls in. Sorry, man. You'll have to call in the big guns on this one. <sighs> Fine. Thanks for your help, man. That's why you pay me. Damn it. Now I have to hire an engineer. I have to work for beer. An hour. I've been sitting here a whole hour. How long does it take to get here from Benton County? I mean, really. All right, let's get this bitch figured out. Ricky Ledmeyer, thank goodness. I've been sitting here in static for two hours. Any damage done before I arrive is no fault of my own. Besides, this place ain't been properly meth addled vampire proof yet. Seriously? Not to be a PSA here, but it, it is kind of a problem. My problem is more than just missing copper. If only you did the transmitter. Yep. So... How's if I are doing? Better now that I have Grimes fixing shit again. So we're going to gloss over that infield fire? It is not, nor if I are's liability, that some dumbass put a turbo into a stock Pinto. Now is it? You've, um, you've got a point there. It's kind of cool, though. What in the hell kind of transmitter is this? Good question. Who the hell knows? 
If somebody scratched off the damn serial numbers, replacing the copper bits will be easy. I know this is a Dagmatron transmitter, so the more valuable parts are easily accessible. Is there a good reason why? The company touted it as an anti-theft measure. I figured if they just made it all easy to steal, people wouldn't be taking the whole transmitter kit. That makes... some sense. And then they sold the replacement parts at a huge markup. There's the capitalism. Give me, give me about an hour. I should have this thing singing in no time. That'd have brought a dirty 30. Hey, pass me one of them yellow ribbons. Hell no, you're on the clock. Exactly. I'm on the clock. Give me. Fine. <sighs> I think we're ready to rock. All right, I'll get this backup generator turned on so we can get this transmitter power cycle. Nah, on. nah, nah, we don't need to do that. I'll just connect this wire and we'll see what we're dealing with. All right, that should do it. Check your signal. Let's see what we have. Yep, we're totally off the air now. Uh, do you have it on the right channel? Yes, Ricky, I do. I'm partial owner to this damn place. I think I'd know the channel for this radio station. It's in the name, AM1234. Not that hard to remember. It's a natural series of numbers. Oh. What did you do? Uh, n nothing. So help me, Ledmire. Forgot which kind of broadcast y'all were making here. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Michael, talk to the microphone and see if it goes out. Yeah, sure. Hold on just a sec. Did you get any of that? Not a word. Great. I bet you want me to use magic again. No. no. Fine. Shun the magic user. It's not like that's ever beat you in the ass before, Mr. stupid Normie. Is he talking about when Alan shot you with the ricochet? Can we focus on the task at hand? Let me ponder for a spell. Give me a beer. Fine. Have you thought about calling customer service? <laughs> what, except defeat? No, more like I don't want to rebuild the production room for a third time. I'll be damned if I have to spend another weekend stripping and running two miles of cables because of a rat corpse. To be completely fair, the second fire took care of the problems with the first. Find a number. Let me see if that mobile search app I've got has it. Let's see, you're on safe search on lame Dak Mall Detron System. Yep, it's searching, searching. Oh, oh no, that was pop up. I have to go back to number later. Ah, now I'm in App Store for a clicker game. <laughs> that, hey, that looks damn fun. It's like the snake and it eats other snakes, but you don't need them because then you explode. Ricky. Ah, all right, fine, spoil sport. Bookmarking that for later, though. Hmm, here it is. All right. All right. On the website, they got a number on this bitch. Scroll the bottom. Shit. Uh, hey, there it is. Let's see. One. Five, 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 five. Uh, now to call. Thank you for dialing Big C's Cookies After Dark. The only service dedicated to the cookie fetish in all of us. What the hell was that? Uh, it's, it's that new 911 thing. You gotta dial the 5 after the 5, not before. Real simple mistake. Oh, I hate it when that happens. What? Thank you for calling Dakmatatron Systems. For English, press 1. Mit Krieg an Jan Fock. For sales, press 1.
If you still need sales, press 2. If you want to buy something, press 3. If you're looking to upgrade, press 4. If you need to return an item, well, good luck. For customer service, dial 1-8-4, the letter Q, 5-7, crying emoji, then star. I hate this part. Looks like we're on hold. Yeah, no shit. You've had it on speaker the whole time. Well, I had to look at the screen to press the buttons. Whatever you say, old timer. Uh, does that hold music sound familiar to you? No. That sounds like the ambient music that plays over at the political machine. I'm sure it was just something cheap and everybody bought the same damn CD back in 95 when the call center was established. All of our customer service representatives currently have better things to do and will take your call in the order they see fit. Thank you for dialing Dak Monotron, making Radio Shack look like God since 1984. Thank you for dialing Dak Monotron, Pale Face. I am Chief Red Hat. May I get your white name, please? I hate it when the tech support guys are Indians. Native American, man. Come on. Uh, yes. Uh, my name is Ricky Butts Ledmore. Name's Ledmore? That was Ledmire. Uh, it's always been Ledmore. It's just no one pronounces it right. Huh. They learn something new every day. How may I assist you in your journey to better radio and television broadcasting? Uh, yes. Uh, I'm calling about your Dactro 5000 processing unit. We're currently running it on a 25,000 watt AM station and the, the sound quality is, uh, well, s say you simulcast an AM through another AM station, then you simulcast that station through Dixie cups attached together by strings in a barrel. And the barrel's on fire. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. So, uh, yeah, we was wondering if you could work some magic for us. Magic? You want me to dance around my desk and chant a few words and make your problems go away? Magic is surviving being ripped from your ancestral lands and being forced to walk 2,000 miles with your brothers and sisters, knowing that when you laid your head into the soft dirt to sleep, that it might be the last time. Uh, um, it was a figure of speech. <laughs> I am just joking, white man. It's just a joke. Much like the size of our reservations today. Anyway, it sounds to me like your system isn't grounded properly, and it's causing white noise and other issues with the clarity. This is common with the Dactro 5000. I can sign you up to a waiting list so it can be sent back for repairs. But we are so behind on this latest recall that it might be around six months before we can even start working on it. I'm afraid beyond that, there's not a lot that we can do. You mean to tell me that is literally the only option that we currently have? No, stupid. Have you tried turning it off and back on again? Um... Have you? I... well... The, the thing... I'll take that as a no. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Yeah. I was wondering if you'd like to buy some blankets. You mother... That went about as well as what I've learned to expect from you. Thank you. Not a compliment. Have you cycled the power? Yep, looks like we're good to go. Just to make sure... Are we on hold again? No. Well, my phone's dead. Hmm. Oh, Barthol the Sky Serpent. I think we're mirroring. The time is now 4.37 p.m. This is the automated PA of the political machine of that town, Alabama. Your shift here at that town political machine still has three more mandatory hours. Remember, hard work is hard work. No need for pleasantries here. What the hell is that? That's the internal PA for the political machine here in that town. Uh... I don't know if... Remember, no recording devices or live broadcasts are allowed inside the political machine. Cameras strike fear into U.S. congressmen. I don't like this. Neither do we. What the hell? I thought this was an automated voice. We lied. Fix this. Now. Turn, Turn it, it off. off. Turn, Turn it off. off. 
so I'm good to get out of here, right? Do I need to validate my parking here with you, or do I have to return this stuff I took out of the promo closet? No. We're calling those assholes back and fixing this before the political machine, our sponsors, and Michael come in here and kill us. I can't. You're full of shit. No, really, I can't. My phone's dead. Mother, mm, Okay, we'll call with my phone. Just be careful. My, I still have long-distance charges. I hear ya. Thank you for calling Dakmonitron Systems. For uh, English, press you, 1. Mit Krieg on your fork. For sales, press 1. If you still need sales, press 2. If you want to buy something, press 3. If you're looking to upgrade, press 4. If you need to return an item, well, good luck. For the customer, customer service, service, dial 184, one, one, the letter four, Q, 57, crying five, emoji, then star. Seven, crying emoji, then star. I know, I know. Your wait time is 57 minutes. Ah, uh, this is as good a time as any to take a nap. I don't pay you to sleep on the j- Son of a bitch. Why am I still playing this stupid clicker game? Oh! Next level! Whoa! Ricky, wake up. Can I get your wife's name, please? It was a chicken. W what? The guy he pissed off was asking for your name again. He started it. Maybe we're all assholes and are just biased to the fact. Hello? Anyone there? Fuck him. You deal with him. Christ, fine. Yes, hello. Sorry. I'm calling on behalf of Ricky Butts Ledmore. My name is Jesse. Ah, uh, yes. What my tribe refers to as assholes. Yep, that would be us. Great, you both bring great, shame to great. your family. Hey, wait a minute. That was five greats. Are you full-blooded? What is it to you, white devil? I have a distinct feeling that you're also a white devil. My great-great-great-grandfather was the last full-blooded Cherokee in my family. True, but I reject the name Ben Smith. I am Chief Red Hat. I will prove my loyalty to my diluted roots. 164 blood rating be damned. Whatever you say, Cherokee. I am proud of my heritage. You probably buy knockoff topaz at Highway Crossroads. Those are worthwhile sales of genuine traditions. May buy a gaggle of white bread assholes that still weep for Earnhardt and have less Native American in them than you. Own up to yourself and stop being an asshole as a surrogate for trying to make yourself better than everybody else. I... fine. What can I do to help you? Thanks. Our transmitter is now picking up and broadcasting what are supposed to be close signals coming from a government installation nearby. How do we rectify that? I should hiccup with that model. Since it's way out of warranty, I can tell you a do-it-yourself way of fixing that. I'm listening. Wrap the whole thing in tin foil and tape it with butcher's tape. But make sure it's name brand tin foil because the store brand just doesn't work. Did you bring... You'd be surprised how much I use this stuff to fix things around FIR. That explains... so much. Then, you just power cycle the transmitter and you'll be good to go. Hell yeah, we're live! Anything else you need today, gentlemen? Uh, how about... how about you? You have a good day, Ben. It's easy to be an asshole. Just be honest with yourself. The truth ain't always easy or pleasant. Knowing your family history is cool and all, but that's not you. You're you. So, uh, be a good you? Yeah. Yeah, I think I will. You guys have a great day. Damn liberal. What? I like when folks get along. Yeah, whatever. We done here? Think so. Thank God I had to pay for the service call. Oh, I, I gave him the card information in the automated dialer. Are you goddamn... What the hell now? 
maybe Ben wants to... Ricky, get the fuck out of my radio station. Mayor Jason's calling me. Oh, shit. Hello? Jesse, glad you finally answered. We're in dire straits, my boy, and I mean more dire straits than the band dire straits. And if you remember correctly, it got bad there toward the end. My boy, we're the same age. I need you in my office at City Hall at once, and I don't mean the fun office. Are you kidding me? At once! This episode of Tales of That Town was directed by James Burton, Michael Murphy, and Jesse Hall. This episode was written by James Burton, Michael Murphy, Jason Smith, and Jesse Hall. James Burton played the roles of Ricky Ledmeyer, Chauncey, the Klingon speech option, and Chief Red Hat slash Ben Smith. Michael Murphy played Michael. Scott Chambers played the Dakmotatron automated voice. Tyler Murphy played the Political Machine Automated Voice. Ashley Jones played the Wait Time Voice. Jesse Hall played Jesse. The opening and closing theme for today's episode was produced by Zach Fragoso, as always. The Wait music was produced by Celerity Studios, LLC. Can we get in touch with them? Ask for Erin. She's the best. Over on social media, you can find Tales of That Town at Tales of That Town on Twitter. Pretty neat, right? You can also find That Town Entertainment on YouTube, Facebook, and Tumblr as That Town Entertainment. We're at This Is That Town on Twitter. Some of our actors have their own personal Twitters, so we'll name those off now. Michael Murphy can be found at Michael Murphy on Twitter. Real easy. Jason Smith can be found at Ultimate Tide Fan, which he is. Ashley can be found at That Town Ashley. James Burton can be found at Go Team Burton on Twitter. And I'm at Waste Dark Cell, for anyone who's wondering. If you'd like to get in contact with Scott Chambers, you can check him out at scottchambersvo.com. All the links will be provided in the show notes. And uh, we'll see you in the next one, kids.